Hello and welcome to Facebook Live with Anders and David. We are here in David's studio and we have our prison where we keep all light equipment that does not behave. But let's go and find David. See if we can find him somewhere over here. I think he will be in his bunker. And this is where we debunk misconceptions of light all days during Corona times. Here we go. Hello, David. Hello, Anders. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> I have set up this beautiful uh, rig here, so you can sit here. Now awesome. I will sit here. Nice. Yes. So uh, let's take a seat. I'm gonna put the way. Shift camera. There we go. So, hello, David. Hello, Anders. Hello, Anders. And welcome to all you guys. Been a long time, no see. Uh, we've changed the long Academy Lives to a shorter format uh, that we're talking about right now. More efficient. More efficient. And we will not answer questions during our live session here now, but after the session, we will be answering all your questions. Yes. So post your questions underneath here and we'll answer them. But today, David, yes. we're going to talk about my, some, one of my problems. Yes, one of your problems. <laughs> I have so what many. Can do. What, <laughs> what can I do to help well, you with this problem? Now in quarantine times, yes. uh, we cannot shoot uh, as we do normally, so uh, we spend a lot of time at home, and I shoot things at home. You shoot things yes. at home? Interesting. I used to practice, and I've noticed that shooting... You have a cat at home? <laughs> I have a cat, but he, that cat, she doesn't sit still. So I shoot a lot of other things, and, uh, and I noticed there are two things, uh, matte things and shiny things that I shoot. Yes. Good uh, observation there, Anders, good observation. <laughs> yeah, matte and I have and shiny. no problems with the matte things, like regular, whatever it could be, but the shiny things, and I shoot things like, you know, makeup things, uh, and uh, as you can see, if we, or, or here's another little piece of makeup, and let's see if we can get a... If you angle it towards the light up there. There we go, let's see, where is the bear? Oh, that's a really nice shiny thing. I understand that oh, you have problems. You look at that. Yeah, and, and you see now in the reflection, you can see all those ugly things. Here we have in another there. one. And it's 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 so easy to make it look ugly. Yes. It's hard to predict, and it reflects everything. It reflects everything, and it can look so harsh. And all the light sources yes. can be like small and just very very strong and. It's really hard to predict, as you say. Yeah, and I I'm sure some other people out there have the same problems. So why don't we talk about certain things that you can do to control these reflections. And we're also going to talk about one tool that we use a lot. Yeah, one tool. And, and you use a lot. I do it really, yes. I use this tool really much, very often, very often. Especially Actually, with, with all the product uh, portraits, all the product, pro photo product shoots, you know. With the, the, the black portraits of the product. Exactly. Yeah. I use this tool a lot. Ooh, nice. Because so, that is all about reflections. But we, before we get to the things, let's talk about the reflections. Uh, David, how does it work? Since okay. what can we do? It yes. gets ugly, it's hard to predict, and it reflects. Well, everything. actually, to be able to talk about how to control reflections, we need to be aware of that it is actually two kinds, or maybe three kinds of reflections. We have three kinds of reflections. So we have the Specular uh, reflections, yeah, exactly. So, uh, let's so we see. can actually see the light source. Mm -hmm. Here we and, go. And it's only certain angles. Yeah. So where is it? Uh, yeah. So that is a specular yeah. reflection. But then we also have diffused reflection. That is like when the on this magnum we can see there's a spot here. Exactly. So this reflection is also just a mirrored reflection like the specular one but it's diffused and that is caused due to the surface the more rough the surface is the more diffused the reflection will and be this is a matte surface and it looks really nice this is why these type of things are a lot easier to shoot yes the more okay. diffused the more the easier it is to shoot but what's the, what's the third right. one then the third one is called an anisotropical reflection strange word mm -hmm. for a strange thing like this when you see when you see reflections like that when i turn it reflection is just a straight line like that. This is an anisotropical reflection, but let's not go in there because that is a special Yeah, we have to do thing. a special, yeah, but the, the, it has also to do with the material and... and exactly, it's all about uh, yeah. how the material is, is constructed. So, but let's not go in there. Yeah. Uh, so these are the three kinds of reflections that there is. And the tricky one, the shiny ones, yes. the, specular the specular ones, they are the trickiest ones. So, um, what you need to do to control that is you need to understand, of course, what is called uh, the law of reflection. That mm. when the light comes in, 
it will bounce out in the same angle as, it, as the incident ray of mm -hmm. light. That is the law of reflection. So, when you see a reflection in your surface, on the surface, what you actually are seeing is your surrounding in the same angle. Ah. Of course, nothing new about that. But, that, but you need to understand that. Because if you have a flat surface, flat surface, it's really easy to understand where you need to place your, your light sources. Mm -hmm. But if you have a curved surface, Ooh, yeah. then it gets a bit more tricky. Because, or a concave. Even. Yes, or, or a concave one. Yeah. Then the reflection will move in a very unpredictable way. Yeah. Well, it's kind of predictable if you think about it, how it works, but it's still not as easy as with a flat surface. So let's, why don't we shoot a flat thing later when we go into the studio? Because yes, it's we'll a difficult, into the yeah, studio and later, yeah. we will shake it out. So, what, uh, what do you... reflection. Yeah, low for reflection, uh, and that you are actually seeing your surrounding in the same angle as mm. you are, oh, yeah, yeah, as the light is coming, as you are looking. And this is a good point, because, I mean, if, if there's a person standing in front of a window, or me as a photographer, if I'm in between, uh, the window and then you, you might be able to see me or if something is like a, a horse or a, a horse uh, or a manatee yeah, it's a really yeah. strange animal but they it could be to have a manatee in between then you would see that bright and clear in that reflection exactly so, okay. and the manatee isn't that that swimming thing yeah, yeah like a yeah really a funky one yeah, yeah. Mm. And okay. what's the third one then? Uh, okay, then uh, uh, the, the, third, right? the third one is how you uh, you need to control it exactly and this control is the way yeah. you're, you're doing that is like this, okay? You, um, you, you need to change your light sources. You control your environment, mm. and your environment are the light sources. You need to control, you shape the light sources. Ah. So what you're actually doing is three things to take this in control, okay? You need to place your reflection where you want it. You need to shape your reflection the way you want it. And the third part, might sound a bit odd, but it's really important. You need to be meticulous. Really, really, really pl place everything with a meticulous, uh, ridiculously meticulously <laughs> precision. Yeah, exactly. precision. Yeah. So that is the secret. You and that's where we can stand for hours in, with millimeters and exactly. moving. Because things. it's yeah. so precise to get it right. But when you do... It's not forgiving because the reflection will show everything. Yes. Yeah. I, I used to think like this. If you have 10 different ways of putting a light source, nine of them will be very ugly. Yeah. And you need to find the 10th because it's so... You have to be so precise. Yeah. That's why shooting shiny things, it's hard. And well, it, I would say it takes time. It yeah. takes time because you need... So, yeah. And that might equal hard. Yeah. If you don't have the time, then it's hard. For me, it's hard, yeah. He likes product shoots, I don't so much. Uh, <laughs> he's good at it, I'm less good. Uh, I'm learning, but... Uh, well, uh, so, so do you have any tips? If, 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 for example, if I'm going to shoot these uh, branded stuff that I stole from my daughter, uh, which is also very shiny, and it's so hard to find that. There we go. Let me go like that. Uh, that there, there we go. go. Oh. Look how In shiny. the law of reflection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just said that, right? <laughs> and now we see it's just so ugly, can't even see the logo and so forth. So here it's really about placing. Yes, uh, so reflection. I actually do have yeah. three tips. I, so what I, would they be? Yes, the three, three tips. The first one is to be as close as possible with the light source. Yeah, close. Okay. Close with the light source. Yeah. Why? Because the light source will be bigger. You often you often want big reflections, not oh, all this, yeah. the small ones. You want big reflections. Um, and uh, when uh, w when you hold this like that, like this, yeah. you see it's very 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 bright. Oh, let's see how good I am at this. Yeah. Wait, I need to need to nail oh, this one. Oh, it was. I was there. It's really hard to... Oh, look in the phone. You yeah. see the phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. You see, it's it's very bright. And you need to expose your camera. This is the second tip. Expose the camera towards the light source. Ah. That's a good tip because the light source is as bright as your reflections will be, as its brightest. Okay. Okay. So that's a really simple tip. Expose towards the light source. So s set the camera setting so that the light source will be as bright as you want yes. the reflections to be. For example, not overexposed, but just under, just, just, just slightly under, slightly, don't slightly lose under. details, okay? That's the second tip. And the third tip is that distance 
actually doesn't matter for the exposure. It can be how cl close or as, or as uh, far you want. Yeah. It's all about the shape of the reflection that is changing when you change the distance, but the, but brightness. the brightness will be the same. So you can actually shape your reflection by moving like this. It won't change the exposure. And that is quite cool. That is cool. Mm -hmm. Because if I have a light towards you, uh -huh. you will be brighter, now you will be darker. But yeah. if you were made out of metallic, yeah. <laughs> then you yeah, would be, the reflection would be the, the equal Same. amount of light. Right. Same brightness, exactly. So that's the three tips. Um, be as close as possible, expose for the camp, for to, the light towards source. the light source, and distance doesn't matter. For the brightness of it. Exactly. Now, over to the tool. Yes, we, the like, tool. we like gadgets. Uh, and the thing we're going to talk about is uh, the Profoto Pro Box is this is the one that we use a lot. Yes, and, and I, I just want to say this square thing is very hard, and I accidentally call it hard box, but it's called Pro Box. The yeah. name is Pro Box. Hard so box is a different thing. It's yes. a different episode. But the Pro Box is really cool because inside here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a lot of mirrors and stuff in here. Which means that they, when you put a light source in here, a B10 or, or a Pro Head or whatever, you actually get the same amount of light in every corner and the middle. So, so it's really, really even light source. Yes, so the perfect. surface, this light source will be perfectly lit from top to bottom. And since your reflections are just a mirror, a specular reflection of the light source is really important that you have. Yeah perfectly even lit light sources. And you get razor sharp edges. As you can see with this one, it really has razor sharp uh, edges, which you don't get in a softbox. Even, no matter how exactly we try to put on the diffusion, there will also be, always be a little bit of uh, difference. Yeah. But here it's razor sharp. And if you want to, you could stack these and have like two or three of them if you want a really, really long reflection. Exactly. And I must say, that when you place a reflection like this, you actually don't, you never want it to be just uh, evenly bright. You always want to use the edge of the reflection like that. This isn't beautiful, but you still, yeah. this still proves the point that you always want to use the edge of a light source in yeah. your reflection. So the edges are really important that they are yeah. as you want it, and it's often to, for them to be straight. This costs about uh, 995 euros, and then in different currencies, depending on where you are. And you can also, uh, in most markets, I think you can buy them uh, actually on the Profoto website, profoto.com. They have a, a function where you can actually buy these. If, if your dealer does not have these on stock, you could order it directly from Profoto. Uh, it is uh, 995 uh, euros. But if you're serious about your reflections and your shooting products, it's worth it. Let me say, put it like this. Yes, it's it's pricey, if mm. I may say so. Uh, and you can make the same effect with other stuff, like cardboard or stuff, but it will take more time. Yeah. It will be, you know, you have to put up stuff, more stands, you have to put up a lot of more, more stuff, it will take more time. It simplifies your work, It basically. simplifies yeah. the workflow, and that is what you're actually paying for, I would say, yeah. that's how I... Then because at the end of the day, you could light things with a burning cat in a bathtub, it's yeah. more complex, but you would still, it's the same electromagnetic, so you can always work with other things, but a lot of the tools that we use are in order to make our life easier and faster, and the faster we can shoot, the more money we can make. So, so that's let's say that you're say. shooting uh, watches, yeah. Like uh, 15 watches or yeah. 50 watches on yeah. one day. You need to light it quick. Yeah. Then you get the quickness, the speed with this type of tool. Let's shoot. Why don't you take this one and I'm going to grab this other camera here. Uh, and switch over. And uh, let's yeah. go to the studio. And let's go to over to the studio. Yes, follow me. Shoot. Follow me. Yes, yes, yes. Come in, come in. Here we have, oh, the door is this, open for... Uh, this is studio one. Studio number one. Yeah. And here and we have set up this, this uh, rig yeah. to show you <laughs> how reflection just, looks. We're in this little room. I have this uh, little room here. Actually, the ProBox, this surface is really, really important that it's clean, no yes. scratches. So I never put it like this. Ah, I know that other people me. do, I so did. I put it like this. Okay. So we, the setup we have here is we have a, a Profoto B10 Plus. We have a shiny thing. Very, and we can see shiny. now actually David in the reflection. No, because I am in the angle of reflection, the same oh, angle 
that that's goes not out. the reflection we want. We want to have a different reflection than that. And we're shooting with the 1DX that is tethered with the tether cable whoop, over here into my computer where we have Capture One 20. So let me just put this one up on my little Manfrotto thingy here little, little so thingy. that I, it gets less shaky. There we go. So here we are. So let's ready turn to, on the things. Ready to show the reflection, the yes. look of the reflection. Flash is on, Capture One is on. Camera is on, remote is on. And when I look into this little oh, eyes Let me turn here. on the modeling light, because that's also a good tip actually to use the modeling light, because then you can see exactly. exactly. So now I can clearly see the reflection in the phone, because we have the same angle of incident as of the ray of light that is the reflecting light. Okay. So I can see the light source. If you turn it okay. off and turn it on, yeah. yeah. Cool. So, so let's take, take a picture, picture with the bare, light, uh, bare flash. Here we go. And let's take a look. OK, let's there we see. Oh, so this is, uh, this is the reflection of the yeah. light source. And it looks like shit, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, but now we know where it is. Yes. We have placed it exactly it's right where there. we and want it. To, uh, why, why don't we, I mean, to show as an example, uh, that actually reflects everything. Why, why don't we do this? I, I'm going to put my little V sign here. Uh, yeah, put my fingers in here. V sign, three, two, one, and poop. And yes, yeah, there we have there the we V sign. Now we see exactly. The it fingers. is just a reflection. The surface is reflecting like a mirror. Yes, but we, we could not send this one to the client, right? <laughs> no, we cannot. <laughs> that, no, we cannot. So let's shape this. Yes. Let's try a softbox. Let's change let's go for a soft the box. shape of the light source into a softbox. And we let's have all kinds see. of softboxes, of course, as we are nerdy. This one is a, a one, one by 1.3 softbox. It's at the, the smallest one. So it's as small as uh, we can get to a pro box. So we're going to use this one. And, and place if I look it into here, I can see that the edge is about perfect. There. Yep. Okay, let's okay. take a picture. This is the reflection with a softbox. And here we go. Yes, oh. beautiful. We have a oh. beautiful. <laughs> I mean, the reflection the is placed where we want it, about yes. halfway through the phone. And you can actually see the, the diffusion, the, the diffusion material, the edge of it. It's really crumbly and wavy and. Oh, it's actually a hole in the, um, in the reflection there. Yeah, and, and so uh, can we put this edge more straight? Absolutely. We, we, this is made deliberately so that we can see that it actually reflects everything. Yeah, it's really... And, and so, uh, but no matter how much you try, there will always be a little bit of And actually, you difference. can actually see the, the recessed front there. You can actually see uh, yeah, the, exactly. the edge of the, the softbox. So, and so let's, let's now do the same thing and try it with the Pro Box and see. And this one I can put this way, right? Because <laughs> we don't scratch that. Exactly. <laughs> no problem with facing this downwards. Okay, so here we have the Pro Box. And if you put on the modeling light so you can see what we are having. Yeah, we're going to move because this one is slightly smaller. Move it a little bit closer. Yeah, that's great. Now there we, we have the edge where we want it. And let's take a picture. Yes. Ah. Here you can so see here, the edge. Yeah, here we see the edge and it's razor it's sharp. It's razor sharp. It's really interesting to, uh, that you must be aware of that the distance to, from the phone where we have the sharpness, the focus is set here on the phone, the distance to the light source mm -hmm. is will really create, of course, um, uh, fussiness uh, yeah. due to the depth of field. Yeah, and also that's what you mentioned that if you put the light source closer, the, the edge will be even sharper, right? Exactly. So the, as, be as close as possible. That's why we are close here. Exactly. Um, so here we a very good example of the edge of the, the Pro Box. Yeah. Perfect. And then there you can do this with all kinds of, you know, makeup, uh, uh, bottles, or whatever shiny things you have to shoot. And, uh, and so uh, we've been kind of scratching the surface. Yeah, we're really uh, scratching the surface. The point here. Reflections is, on how the they The point work. here is to show the edge of the yeah. reflection and the pro box is the master of controlling that edge. Yes. You can of course do that in other ways, but we are just scratching the surface on this topic. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, if you want to learn more and uh, about light or anything, uh, you can find the two of us on and anything. 
anything. Ooh. Just ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you want to learn about lights, we can be there. If you yeah. want to learn about anything, Anders will be there too. Yes. Uh, but if you go to uh, Profoto's YouTube channel, just search for Profoto and you'll find their YouTube channel. They have a playlist, uh, which is called Academy Live. And that's where we have done episodes, about 49 right. or so. That's about 50 hours worth of content there, where we uh, two chat, yeah, chat two light about nords. everything about lights. Exactly. And we have different topics and it's clearly said on the, in the title. So yeah. you can find a lot of good information in there. And yeah, I'm quite and sure free. that ma ma maybe many of you already have seen it, but you can always watch it again because Ooh, it's, it's yeah, a it's, quarantine time. It's so. worth it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and upskilling is great. It's a great opportunity to yes. upskill and learn more. So go in and check those out. Yeah. Uh, there's also a second one uh, that we are yes. developing right now. It's, uh, uh, it's going to be a, a, a website where you find a lot of good information. Uh, it's not done yet. Uh, We're so, working on it. But go there. And, uh, but if you go to bishu.se, uh, and we will post information as soon as it's done. But we're creating a lot of content and, and make it, uh, making it available very, yes. very soon. So that is what we are doing on the, yes. during the quarantine time. Yes, we're doing that. And then, of course, you also go to Profoto's website and click on profoto.com, click on Academy, and there you'll find plenty of different courses like Fundamentals of Light, Lighting, you will have fundamentals of wedding photography, a new course that's out there with Jared Platt, like from A to Z on how to become a better wedding photographer. Mm. Uh, and um, uh, there, on the, all these courses you can learn with no matter what gear you have, no matter what brand you have, because it's we're talking about general Light. principles, and this, it doesn't matter if you're using different brands than Profoto, you could use it, it's a great learning resource. Mm. And uh, uh, and then also, if you buy a series there, you can send in your images and get personal feedback on those images. So, great resource. So, three yes. great resources. Profoto's YouTube channel, bishu.se, and then uh, Profoto Academy on, on the profoto.com. But now, David, yeah. let's go over to the chat and uh, to that computer answer and start questions. answering questions. Let's so, do that. post a lot of questions and uh, we'll answer all of them. And well, if you're seeing this after, in a couple of days or so, when it pops up due to algorithms, and we will monitor the, yes. the, the chat. We will exactly. monitor that. So and ask anything about light, I will answer. Ask anything about anything, Anders will answer. <laughs> it so was great seeing you guys again. See you in the and chat. See you soon. Bye.